Hey guys, thanks for checking out the podcast. Before we get started, I want to remind you about the very cool bucket list trip I am doing in 2026, the Smitty Learns Irish podcast, where I'm going to do my bucket list, hike Ireland for a year, learn about Irish history, town by town, through the mouths of the pub owners and regulars. Because what's a better way to learn about something you love than to experience it yourself? Patreon.com forward slash we the number three Smiths, only three bucks a month, and thanks for checking it out. Welcome to the Smith Hole. My name is Smitty from the What the Hell Everything Podcast. Another reaction episode six of The Last of Us. Finally getting back. This will be episode six and seven, and the next two will be episode eight and nine together uh, in one video. I am way too long getting back to this. <laughs> uh, it's been way too long. Uh Coming off of Endure and Survive, which is just another uh, fucking heart punch, man. Uh, that's what they do to us. They just, uh, uh, hey, here's somebody in the story that you like. See ya. <laughs> Gone. Uh, but a lot of times, you know, you put yourself in that world, in that scenario. And uh, that's kind of the way it goes, man. By far, the best video game adaptation I have ever watched. And uh, creeping up on one of my favorite shows I've watched in a very long time. The Last of Us, Episode 6. What is the title of this one? The Last of Us, uh, Episode 6, Ken. And, uh, guys, let's, let's just get into it. What's this show going to do to me, you know? Kind of got you got to set yourself up for failure even starting the show. You know something fucking terrible is going to happen. I haven't got to the point where I'm, like, paying attention to the intro of this with all the cordyceps spreading out and things. Like Game of Thrones. I think there was, uh, in each season, there was a different sort of story that that Game of Thrones intro was telling. I've never been smart enough to fucking pick up on what it was, other than seeing the different kingdoms and shit uh, that were going to be featured in that season, or at least that episode. God. Well, they had to show us this again. I mean, no! It's like starting off... Two towers with Gandalf going down with a Balrog again, you know? You're like, God, why do they do that again? Could be in Wyoming here. Are we going to see Joel's brother, whose name is escaping me now? Nope, that is not him. Who the hell are you? Just someone passing through. Yeah, you had to be like, why are you looking at me like this? Get the gun out. Why did you shoot him? The gun's all the way over there. Huh. He didn't hurt me, by the way. Did you tell him the truth? Yeah. Are you telling me the truth? Yeah. And how's this going to play out? Don't take these people from us. Are they going to friend them? What's past the river? Death. If your brother's west of the river, he's gone. Well, I feel like we're going to see that at some point. You scared him. Is he having a heart attack? Joel? Shut up. Was he dying? Panic attack? Man, it's one of my bucket lists, man, is just to walk around that place for years. <laughs> that whole place. All of it. Of scary. Has she ever? Let's find out. What kind of whiskey is it? Or even if it is whiskey. <laughs> like, I might as well, you know? What is she in this show? 13, 14, 15 maybe? If you have to dodge death at around every quarter, you could probably have a drink, you know? The ranch. Cool. What kind? Cheap. They're quiet. Do what they're told. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Like Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, Jim Lovell. But you know who my favorite is? Sally Ride. Sally fucking Ride. <laughs> Dream of sheep ranches on the moon. Yeah. I'm responsible for you, okay? Then don't fall asleep. I mean, touche, you know? I check my six, I look for tracks, I found the high ground. And I... As much as winter sucks, it is beautiful out there, you know? gotta be so loud because I was about to say just you know when it's heavily snowy like that in the woods it is so Fine. ultra quiet and I bet that was just loud as fuck 
don't know if you'd trust that bridge either. Probably have no choice. It's probably fine. <laughs> like nobody's keeping up with the infrastructure out here, I'm sure. Well, how we just talk this through? How about you shut the fuck up? Okay, easy. Might sound stupid, but I don't know why the fuck they're covering their faces like bandits, you know? There's no uh, cameras to identify them. You've been near infected. Oh man, it's tough for sure. Oh my God, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? <laughs> man, I thought for sure. <laughs> what's your name? I think I know who that oh. is. I think that was Tara. Was it? Is it Tara from uh, True Blood? Is that Jackson? I've been there once. Stopped and had a couple beers at whatever brewery was there, and uh, I fucking loved it. Tommy! Oh, I did find him. Oh man, I'm so happy. Please don't end poorly. Man, that makes me happy to see that. Do you think she was uneasy because now he found his brother? Like, he's not going to need... Her, he's not going to be around her anymore. He delivered. Or at least, I don't think... Sorry. These aren't the fireflies, are they? Let's mind our man. I think man. they could be. She does need to learn how to, like, uh, you know, as much as I like her. Pick your battles, you know? Well, uh, Maria is family, actually. Joel, say congrats. <laughs> Not advertising what we have, saying off the radio. Damn. He gave him a weird look when he mentioned the radio. I think he uh, he's like, yeah, you're supposed to check in. <laughs> this place actually fucking works. So, uh, communism. Nah. Nah, I didn't like that. I mean, it is that, literally. I mean, it is that, literally. <laughs> no. How long until they find out she was bitten? Christmas trees and bacon. Pretty decent setup. So how's Tess? Christmas trees and bacon. She's That's fine. like a... Uh... All right. <laughs> Good then. Be honest, I'm scared to death. Like if you're Joel, you can't be mad at him, you know. I'd be a good dad. Be like, I found my place, man. I want to do as less fucked up things as possible. The least amount of I fucked up we'll things. Find out. Yeah, you can't blame Tommy one single bit, you know. Is he really gonna go down with a heart attack? Yeah, what would his daughter be? His daughter would be, you know, in her 30s. This is 20 years later, and she was what? Bella's age, roughly, so 14, 15, 16, maybe. You know, she would be 36. She would have children, probably. That's just got to hit you, man. Especially with your brother, he, you know, saying, sorry, I want to help you, but uh, not going to happen. It's uh, super fucking purple. <laughs> I was going to say, everything looked pink yeah. and purple. Uh, and she laid out clothes for her. Where's my other stuff? Rag pile. And kid. Just Kevin. Sarah was Joel's daughter. Said anything. No, it's okay. Oh, yeah, I guess he didn't even really tell her about it. She probably had no idea about Sarah. Explain to him a little. Be careful who you put your faith in. The only people who can betray us are the ones we trust. Foreshadowing. Where are we going? The movies. The movies? She's in... Don't do the wrong thing here, Tommy. You're younger than me. You're still strong. You said it yourself. You'll come back. You have to take her. Man, I don't even know if I've really mentioned at all on this series just how fucking good Pedro Pascal is. You know? I would take her out at dawn. This real, like... Uh... 
laid back sort of character, but there's so much nuance going on all the time, and he just has a way of just like getting into some levels, left, left, and right, some depths, you know. Why are you here? I came here to talk to you. No way, you're still here. If you're gonna ditch me, ditch me. She knew. I'm not her, you know. Maria told me about Sarah and... No. Press it. Press the nerve. Press it. Keep going. You better do it now. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel. She's gonna do some fucking... But I have lost people, too. Robin Williams' Goodwill Hunting shit. I have shit. no idea what loss is. Comes that fucking heart attack. Come in. Thought for sure it was gonna be Joel. You deserve a choice. I still think you'd be better off with Tommy. Let's go. Haha. -ha. Okay. Head southeast to hit I-25. It's right off the interstate. I was hoping Tommy would still go with him. Man, I didn't think, uh, I thought for sure there was going to be some sort of, like, dark, uh, uh, dark underbelly of Jackson, Wyoming or something like that, you know, where they were going to be doing some shady shit in one way or another. I thought for sure that, uh, you're flinching. The target's too small. Tara, what's her name? Uh, and I'm not flinching. Mm -hmm. Was going to be into some, like... Get it. Corrupt shit somehow. Mm -hmm. You'll see. So the way they ran stuff in Jackson. Hey, has anybody decided if they want to uh, uh, recreate Joel and Ellie's journey from Boston to Wyoming? You know, on foot, <laughs> on horseback. Why not? Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. People didn't want anyone to own anything at all. Houses, stores, that kind of thing. We were called contractors. There we go. Answered that. The contractor. Are those monkeys? Must be from the old labs. <laughs> Whoa. First time seeing. And I bet they fucking thrive out here, for sure. At least you don't see any like cordyceps sprouts or anything like that all over the place. I mean, that's a... Uh... There are definitely... Dogs. Sort of a bright side, right? Ew. I just say ew at monkeys. I don't know. Oh, didn't hear him coming again, Joel. Ah, oh, boo. Are they going to go back to Jackson? Man, fucking Ellie's saving the day again. What do you call him a motherfucker for? You know? Fuck ran up behind him. Get all mad at somebody. Oh, I think I can't fucking do this without you. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. What the fuck I'm gonna do? Joel. There's no he's not gonna die in this fucking episode. Right? Joel, please. He's still gotta have a heart attack. <laughs> Which is not funny. Uh, he didn't die, right? Right? God damn it. All right, we're going to go to the next episode. Okay, uh, we're back, and all I want to do is just, like, go to IMDb and look at the casting for this next episode. Episode what, Smith? Uh, <laughs> we'll find no, I'm not going to do that, all right, because I don't want to spoil if Joel died. <sighs> Right? He's still alive, right? Let's fucking just play this next episode. God damn it.
He wouldn't have died right there. Come on, Smith. <laughs> you have to tell yourself these things, you know? Man, maybe now is the best time to pay attention to this uh, this intro. So are they throwing different things at it? Was that Boston? Anyway, it's not. It's probably not worth uh, thinking too much about. Because if Joel's gone, he's not, though, right? If he is, what is she going to do? Hell, what is she going to do even if he's not dead? You don't know anybody. Uh, it's a week's ride to fucking back where you came from. There was a moment I thought she was going to go to get help. To bring somebody back from, uh, bring Tommy back or somebody. A-holes. Saw that coming. Then pick up your pace. I'm not running doubles again because of your shitty attitude. Your friend fights. She's not here anymore. Is she? Oh yeah? Watch this. I like that we're getting some sort of Ellie backstory, though. I care because no matter what anyone out there says or thinks, we're the only thing holding this all together. If we go down, the people in this zone will starve or murder each other. That much I know. Yeah, that's true, too. You know? There's a leader in you. Fuck yeah. I was trying to pick out that Pearl Jam song. I don't know it. I was trying to figure out what album it came from. At least she's listening to good music. What? Riley! Where have you been? What the fuck is wrong with you sneaking up on me like that? It was a joke. Okay? Yeah, ha ha. Very funny, motherfucker. <laughs> Wonder what that is. You know? Where she said you're so weird about that when she doesn't want her to see her uh, get dressed. I have a couple theories. I'm not sure which one is accurate or any of them are. I think either I don't know. should I trust you? Of course you should. With Ellie me. might have a thing for her so she feels embarrassed. Uh, other than that, that's really all I got. <laughs> Where are we going? Through a damn window. Duh. <laughs> what is going to make this Sorry. the best night ever? Hmm. Is he going to fucking bite her? <laughs> Huh. Best night ever. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> no, it's not. Not at all. Give me your gun. All right, fine. Man, alcohol and firearms and uh, teenagers have to work out really well in this episode, I'm sure. You out of your fucking mind? They sealed that place off for a reason. It's full of infected. If it's sealed off, then why isn't it sealed off? Hmm, good point. <laughs> so, turns out when Fedra connected that block up to the grid, this place got connected too. Not that they know. They will when you turn all the lights on. You did turn all the lights on, no kidding. Not the fucking mall without AHA playing, you know? Escalator. Escalator? Be, be, be careful. How rad would it be, though? You know? <laughs> if, uh... Because it seems like she's way into, like, old pop culture. You know, music and movies and things like that. It seems like she's into that shit. Be kind of like a dream come true, you know? <laughs> oh. Heard about malls. You are just a graceful ballerina, but chop, chop. We're on a schedule. Almost there. Think she's got a thing for her. Possibly. Oh, I thought it could be something like a uh, like a carousel. And 
and I bet it's just the funnest fucking ride. You know? Having never gone on a ride before? What? No way. Yeah, this is very clearly a, uh, that she is into, God, I cannot remember her name now. But this seems to be just a, uh, like Ellie's coming of age episode, really, in a way. Uh, it's like she told Joel in the last episode, you know. Everybody that you've ever loved or cared about is ditched or gotten killed, and I don't think this is going to end well, f clearly. Is that a time machine? Kind of is. Like, this is very much a date episode, you know? Well, fuck you. Dude, like, just playing video games would be Great. fucking awesome. <laughs> now you gotta get a bunch of quarters. I'm sure, I'm sure that they're handy. There you go. There you go. Ha ha You asshole. Yeah, I'm the same asshole that spent an hour yesterday breaking this fucker open. Oh. You ready? Yeah. Ha, ha. I'm what? Fight! Oh boy. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, there. Okay. I was gonna say I'm not seeing any like cordyceps anywhere, but sure enough. <laughs> okay. Um, how does a computer get drunk? It takes screenshots. What are screenshots? I don't even know. That's like yeah, they're like that joke is totally lost on them. Marlene is the lady that helped me get. It doesn't matter. In the first episode, Marlene seemed like she was aware of Ellie for since she was born, I think is how I remember it. What the fuck? Surprise. <laughs> the fifth one. The Halloween store. I'm just bracing myself for whatever horrible thing is about to happen. I got you, babe. I got you, I'm like, is that gonna fall? Just break and they're gonna fall right straight straight through that glass. <laughs> also, I've never heard this Etta James version of uh, I Got You, Babe, so where to, where to go? Where to go? I got you, babe. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. What do we do now? Run. We're going to figure it out. Run. Get ready to run. Ah. Uh, <laughs> has to be how she gets bit, right? Yeah, she hates them all now. What did you get? Did you get all the pieces out? It's fucking stitching it though. All right, I uh. Man, I like that episode. I'm really glad that we got a uh, uh, an Ellie backstory, you know, rather than just getting filled in with a few little details here and there. Uh, I enjoyed that episode. I thoroughly enjoyed them back to back like that. Uh, I've been wanting to binge watch the show now for a while, uh, but I man that. Uh, first of all, the first episode, which was uh, the name of it, is escaping me. Uh, I thought it was fantastic. I'm glad we got a chance to see uh, Tommy back and really get a good look into some of the terrible shit that Joel's done, you know. 
Uh, I don't know if I trust uh, Tommy's wife, Tara in True Blood. The name is escaping me right now. And I'm really happy that we got a good Ellie backstory. Uh, you know, she said in the last episode or two episodes ago that everyone that she's either everyone that's ever loved her or she's ever loved has fucking ditched her or died. Uh, and you see the moment she got bit. Man, it was a fun episode. Uh, two left, I think. Two episodes left, man. Uh, I'm not going to watch them right now, but I am going to watch them soon. Hey, if you want to see the full length watch along on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash we the number three Smith link is in the, the, the description. And, uh, uh, if you are watching on Patreon, Hey, thanks a lot. I really appreciate you. I really, really do. That's it for me. You guys, uh, let's get the fuck out of here. What the hell? Everything.